Hey everyone, this is Disc Junkie and today I am going to the annual VHS get together or VHS movie collecting something something all the way over in Sala bring a bunch of tapes with me here see if I can sell some stuff and buy some stuff you might remember that I've been to this a couple years ago I didn't go last year but this year I thought it was about time and this year is also a 10 year anniversary for this event so yeah hope you enjoy the show so I mean I haven't been to this movie gathering in a while I didn't go last year I went the year before that uh, and it's um, I'm not really sure what to say, you know, it's uh, it's sort of like a convention type thing, but it's a smaller scale and it's mainly like this group of people who are just like people from forums and I would say that the, the main focus is videotapes and usually older videotapes, um, like you know, old Swedish releases, that's sort of like what a thing that these people collect. I try to bring, you know, all kinds of tapes and bring DVDs as well, but overall I would say that it is the older stuff that people are interested in. And uh, there's also uh, two um, retailers, so to speak, that are, that are going to this thing. This is uh, Boa Video and the Video Room, two Swedish retailers who are, it's weird to say retailers, but you know, they, 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 they run these stores and they are second-hand stores obviously because they do deal with, uh, uh, you know, vintage videotapes, Swedish tapes. They have, uh, you know, non-Swedish editions as well because it is second-hand so sometimes, you know, they get foreign tapes too. And they also deal with the DVDs. I placed two orders with the retailer people so that I can pick up my orders when I get to the uh, to this event um, and um, apart from that in terms of selling stuff I don't know I'm just bringing tapes uh, see if anybody wants to get anything sometimes you trade stuff sometimes it's you know you sell and I don't know I'll just see what happens but mainly it's all about just meeting people with a love for movies and truth be told you know in the previous years I've felt like a bit of an outsider because uh, a lot of these people, I mean, for one thing, I am a bit socially awkward with the whole sort of, you know, hanging out with people. It's really my thing, and uh, also this event is uh, its more or less very much of a party kind of atmosphere, like, you know, there's a lot of drinking and stuff, and I, being that, you know, I live where, very far away, I'm not... Uh, I, you know, I'm gonna drive back. Uh, I've done this on previous years as well, where I basically go there and then I drive back on my own uh, the same day or like at night, midnight or something. And I have a very long drive, so I'm not, you know, I'm not drinking anything, which is always sort of one of these things where you sort of, you know, feel like a bit of a third wheel. But you know, I don't know. I think I'm, you know, I'm warming up to this crowd, and it's uh, there. There, the thing is also that a lot of these have sort of been going here every year for like, for like 10 years since it started so they are very sort of you know everyone knows everyone and I'm sort of you know I haven't really met these people outside of this outside of this event I basically you know I've, I've gone here two times and you know it's not people I generally hang with I know I mean I got some of them on Facebook and we chat every now and then but it's not people I would say I know very closely so um, yeah, uh, but this is going to be a lot of fun, I'm really looking forward to it, and I feel like, you know, I've, over the last year since I went last time, I've gotten to know some of them uh, at least a little bit, little bit more, so it feels a bit more familiar. Really exciting to see um, what I end up getting and uh, what, what not. And, um, oh yeah, there's also going to be some uh, guests there, sort of like convention guests or what do you want to say. One of which, which is really cool, is uh, Christina Lindbergh is coming there. And if you don't know Christina Lindbergh, she was like this uh, famous Swedish uh, model uh, back in the 70s, 80s. Uh, she became famous for, um, she was sort of like a pinup girl, uh, you know, sort of like Playboy mag you know, kind of stuff um, and did nude photography and such. Uh, but she probably even more so than that she became famous in the uh, in the movie universe so to speak by playing the lead role in a very uh, classic Swedish action film uh, which 
which is called The Thriller, A Cruel Picture. And if you know movies, then you probably know this movie. It's a film which was a very big inspiration for Tarantino when he did the Kill Bill movies. Uh, and it's uh, the character of Elle Driver, who has like the eye patch thing. That was very much based uh, and inspired from this film. And this, you know, that's what Tarantino says. He's a very big fan of Christina and of this film. And the whole the whole eye patch thing is uh, is directly taken from Thriller. That's where the the concept started. And uh, so she's going to be there. I mean, she's old now, obviously. Uh, but that's really cool. And um, I think there's going to be some other guests too, but I forget uh, forget the name now. And uh, this is actually quite a long drive, roughly about two hours worth from uh, where I'm living. But uh, thankfully, through the magic of editing, you don't actually have to watch me drive the whole time. So we are actually uh, coming up to the uh, final destination right now. And uh... after 400 meter, ta till höger i rondellen. Första avfarten. So basically my camera died just in time for driving up here. But I've actually set up shop sort of inside. And now I just went back because now I've been charging the camera. So uh, now I can finally just bring you inside to see what the place looks like. So see, we just start walking up, to, uh, up here. And we see the infamous Rockland sign. And the Rockland is, of course, the name of this uh, bar or establishment, if you will. Walking in here, um, we have some stuff, and there's a bar, and yeah, as you can see, there's uh, some people people here already. And um, I have actually set up set up shop, so to speak, right over here at one of these tables. This is all the stuff that I brought, this is my little table or base camp. Uh, there's a lot of sort of retro DVD Blu-rays, but I'm also yeah, I brought the Texas Chainsaw Mask laser disc and anything TCM is obviously duplicate. Um, but I brought a lot of a bunch of tapes here, both Swedish and foreign. Um, and uh, yeah, I've actually managed to set up shop just right next to Christina Lindbergh. That's a fact we had to use here. It's interesting. But for now, I think we can start by just going hunting for some tapes. Ja, mycket fint här. Mm, faktiskt. Det är lite så. Jag plockar en och så går jag härifrån och köper den. Så går jag tillbaka och så, ja men här är en till. Ja, ja, ja det är lite, lite så. Bara, ja, men, ja, men det kanske fanns något mer. Så bara, ja, jo. Ja, ja. Ångrar sig liksom. Lite så. Åh, oh, jaktopp. Är det här opposition? Vad tar du på det här? Nej, inte min. Det är rå inne. Den bästa ja, okay. tröjan. Det är klart. Rätt, rätt roll. Alltså man kan säga så här. 
Och jag vill inte vara med i någon komedi faktiskt. Det kan jag ju säga om det Har du funderingar om att ta dig kvällen här med dig? Nej, det har jag inte i och för sig. Du gav mig den lite. Ja. Ja, men jag har samma storlek som förut och allt sitter hyfsat där det ska. Så det är inget problem så. Om du vill veta. All right, so uh, <coughs> it's a new day, and um, I couldn't shoot my follow-up video uh, last night because I got home really late. It was like 1:30 a.m. Um, but I did get quite a lot of stuff uh, yesterday, and I thought I would just sort of uh, walk you through what I have. A lot of tape here, stuff that I brought that I, uh, you know, brought for sale that I didn't sell. So you got flip this around and to show you uh, what I actually did get. First things first, I picked up a stack of 1980s magazines. I don't really know how to describe these. They're not exactly poor magazines, they're more like, I don't know if I would say like early Playboy, you know, it's basically just a uh, bunch of articles. And what's interesting about this is this is actually a magazine about uh, crime, about criminal cases. That's sort of like their thing that they did, and uh, it's called uh, Veckans Brott, or Weekly Crime, or Crime Weekly, depending on how you want to translate it. And uh, I basically, you know, I got a whole stack of these, and I wanted to get them because I just love these uh, cover shots, where they have these very sort of unnatural looking and weirdly staged crime situations. And uh, I also want to mention that this was sort of like a gentleman's magazine, I don't know if that's what you say. But so, I mean, there was usually, I'm not going to show it, but there's usually like an x-rated sort of like a playboy fold out you know they did that kind of stuff and there's also like usually an ad page for like sexual connections you know like contact ads so yeah it, it is sort of like a I don't know pre porn mag kind of thing and it did over the years it did become a lot more sort of sexually oriented as I understand but you know I just really like these old ones which have like these uh, fantastic cover shots, which just, you know, it's always a sort of like a damsel in distress kind of thing. So uh, I'm not going to show them all, but I basically bought a stack of 30, so it's very sort of, yeah, it's a lot of magazines. And then uh, I'm actually going to start with this because this is so fucking cool and it's right here. This was like the, the prize of the, of the evening for me. I saw this, this came from one of the uh, retailers. Uh, retail stores as we're going there and it's uh, for the movie The Curse and this is a Swedish release and you can tell that it comes in this absolutely epic coffin shaped box get a bit of a bit of a bump at the top but it's still in very good shape and uh, this was kind of expensive but I just bought this instantly it's in great shape and I for one have never seen this I had no idea this has existed and uh, I mean I like coffin shaped boxes and um, I know that there are I've been watching like there are like an Australian release in a similar case for uh, Fright Night 2 and there are like a couple of other examples but never seen a Swedish one uh, never for this movie so I just grabbed it as soon as I saw it and I'll just go ahead and check out the other stuff I got basically two bags worth first up here is a American DVD from the Alpha Blue archives and this is uh, a DVD worth of erotic cartoons, which, uh, I don't know, it's one of these weird topics which I have gotten an interest in. I'm not really talking about hentai or, you know, like this Japanese animated porn stuff. It's basically, I'm more interested in like these sort of vintage style uh, animations, like this stuff, which is just... You can tell that it's, you know, it's very old, obviously this is a new DVD, but it's full of these uh, weird, weird vintage erotic animations. So pick that up, then we got Henry, Portrait of a Serial Killer, the American VHS version. Another Swedish copy of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, I already got this, but I bought a spare. Another Swedish Texas Chainsaw, another spare. The, here's one which I guess I can't really show, so I'm just gonna have to do like this. Peaches and cream, 
basically a porn flick from... Uh, yeah, not really sure, just grabbed this because uh, I liked it. Um, then we got Chud, Swedish release. And here is some tapes which I was given for free. Uh, you know, I know these sort of retail uh, stores and you know, it's sort of like the tradition like whenever they find something that they can't really sell because it's too weird or too obscure or not really movies per se but more like instructional videos or whatever they tend to bring them along whenever we meet up and uh, sort of give them to me for free because they know I'd like this weird stuff. And so here is a instructional video for making better editing or sort of making your own movies better. Uh -huh. And it's an instructional video from 1982 and sort of ironic that it actually comes on uh, video 2000. So yeah, an uh, obscure format to uh, try to teach you how to make better editing. But it's awesome. Here's also a very weird film which I know nothing about. It's sort of like a promotional release from the Swedish uh, Televerket, which is the company that, uh, you know, handled all the electricity. Uh, sort of like the... I don't know what you say, like the, 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 the elect electrical company of the state. Weird tape. Then we got old Swedish VHS for something called Massonas Krig. I'm not entirely sure. The original title is Empire of the Ants. Next bag, we got Thriller, a cruel picture. You know, the Christina Lindbergh movie. And this is actually a French release, French single disc DVD Digi Pack, which I had my eye on before, but they basically brought them, they were selling it really cheap. Whereas, you know, the other more common DVD versions, like the American one and stuff, that were selling really expensive. Then we got Ninja Mission, Swedish VHS. We do collect Ninja Mission, I think it's an awesome film. Same film. I think this is a UK release, but I don't know much about it. No idea why it has Hills of Ice on the back. Very confused about this. It actually has a Swedish retail sticker on the tape, so yeah, I have no idea. It seems to be a UK insert. Maybe it's like a Swedish bootleg kind of thing, I don't know. Then we got another free tape. Uh, apparently some sort of documentation of the International Audio and Video Fair in Berlin from 1989. And now my leg is cramping. Oh, fuck. Okay. Another freebie tape. No idea what this is. Seems to be like some, some sort of Swedish produced film. Export Council, the Swedish Train Council. So I'm guessing it's some kind of educational slash promotional video to make you think more about the Swedish Trade Council. And we got another another free tape, this is a demo tape, Nikam Stereo, released by Hitachi. Swedish tape, weird promo tape for, for Nikam Stereo. And we got another Swedish one, most of these are Swedish of course. This is uh, Squirm, awesome Swedish cover release from Walter's video. Very early Swedish uh, video company. Love this. It's actually a beta release, but it does have the same cover on VHS. But this is beta, very good shape. So we got another porn flick, which is called Grannar emellan, or Between Neighbors, I guess you could translate it. Yeah, I can't show you the back of this. I don't know much about it, but I did read the tagline, which is... Probably one of the best Swedish porns ever to be made. Uh, and I'd never heard about this movie. But uh, I enjoy collecting sort of early and obscure vintage 70s, 80s porn stuff. So I picked this up because I'd never heard about it before. And lastly, we get something called Triumph of the Nomads. This was also a free tape. And it's apparently a... Uh, history of Ancient Australia. Don't think this is a Swedish tape though. Seems to be an Australian tape, but no idea. It used to cost $39.95 at some point, but I got it for free. But uh, that is basically it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it and I'm, you know, sorry if the... Uh, I don't know, what I'm, I'm not sorry about anything, but really hope you enjoyed it. Really happy with this year's haul. I did pick up some stuff that I didn't really expect. And I managed to also sell some stuff which I didn't think I would sell. So uh, yeah. Thank you very much for watching and as usual, hope to see you all next time.